Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be <coughs> Libra's monthly, Rib Libra Sun, Libra Moon and Libra Rising monthly tarot reading June 2018. Four position enhanced spread is what we do have for this month and the first position expresses up the topic for Libra for the month of June. The second card will show up the challenges Libra needs to overcome during the month of June. Third card does expresses up the positivity which month of June has to offer to Libra. And the last card is known as the final outcome. Or the last position is known as the final outcome or the result of all that. So as this is an enhanced spread that means multiple cards per position. Or in our case this, these are going to be two cards per position. And the first card for the first position which is the topic for Libra that is going to be the king of wands with the uh, Six of Swords. So that is going to be a, a proposition which is coming in your way. Business offer is what we do have. Why? Because the Six of Swords points that is going to be uh, something which scares you in a sense of that is going to throw you completely off your comfort zone. So most likely it's going to be a proposition you're finding yourself that you think you aren't prepared to take yet. All right. <clears throat> So you need to have here the courage to step toward the unknown so you can capitalize on that particular offer. Now the person which is going to give you that offer, it is usually as is marked with the King of Wands, that is usually someone very a respected person, all right, a, a natural born leader, someone who knows how to utilize people uh, abilities and how to traverse those abilities into a, a very productive following. As well as the King of Wands is someone who uh, kind of mm, does his homework if you know what I mean so if he sees you as a very capable person that he can work with then that is most likely true it is just the thing with that guy or woman is as a matter of fact that could be as well is that they can see the unfold the unfolded potential into someone all right so that person sees a huge potential in you that you do have no idea that you possess all right and that's why they they may ask you to do certain things for them which you are going to be very stressed about in the sense that you will have the doubts in yourself or rather you will be um a very how can i place it what is the english word here guys uh you will be very hesitant to do it because uh, you may think that you are not doing it correctly. Now, it, you need to know that this is not a, a, a matter of life and death, you know. This is just so that person can see how capable you are or rather how eager you are to go as far as it needs to. So, this so the topic for your month is that opportunity this person presents to you guys. And then the negativity or rather like the challenges that you need to overcome here. Here we do have the star card with the king of coins. So this card, these cards are pointing that, uh, how can I place it, that there won't be any promises given, all right? So it could be, it could play out like this. You have the offer, you know, and after you kind of like do your part, you may not hear uh, from that person for a couple of weeks, maybe for a month. So that being said, you will be quite... Um, <clears throat> Uh, hectic about what is going on and how the things are going to unfold from now on etc etc now you need to know is that when that thing comes and you are not hearing any uh, feedback uh, you should not dwell upon that you have failed or uh, that uh, you haven't made the necessary impression or probably this person has other things to attend to for the time being so what you need to do here is, in is instead of feeling despondent rather start paying attention to your own personal duties and your own personal things because you could have been carried away by the thought that you didn't give the best performance that you were capable of. Now remember this isn't about how well you perform, this is a about how much vigor and how much um, a desire if I may say that way you show that you are capable to learn, alright, and how much a, a, a 
affinity to adaptability you show in front of that person. Knowledge and skills are something uh, obtainable. The, um, <clears throat> the urge, however, to obtain them, this is completely different thing and that person is seeking in you only the urge. So, uh, for that being said, don't think way too much about your performance here, but you should kind of like uh, fill the gaps in your time uh, with those cards by attending to the chores that you do have into your daily routine so as a matter of fact that could be as I said a business offer away uh, outside of your current job all right and uh, instead of leaving your job right now you know as soon as you have the offer just do your performance there and continue on working upon what you're working until the stable offer which comes further into the future comes in your way then we do have the positivity which the month has to offer you we do have the king of swords with the uh, knight of cups all right so that's quite baffling here king of swords and the knight of cups as a um, <clears throat> As a combination that speaks for uh, how can I place it here it uh, first of all it does speaks for a lot of clearance all right and I'm not talking about here emotional clearance but more about um, <clears throat> realizing the whole processes or rather like creating a, a very accurate structure and strategies how to move on forward but the very least guys Libras these cards are pointing <clears throat> that it is very likely that you are going to find the correct measures how to uh, accomplish a, uh, a, a dreams of your heart because the Knights of Cups usually symbolizes the dreams that one holds in front of themselves all right and follows them no matter what and in conjunction with the King of Swords that is a, a huge insight of how one can can, uh, can achieve those kind of things you know so for example let's say that you want to change your job and you have that business offer here Alright, even though that business offer may not uh, become material, may not materialize into this month, you will become aware that you do have much more options available, and that will make you here create the very uh, accurate strategy of how you can change your job with minimum uh, close to none losses whatsoever. But in general, these these couple of cards, the King of Swords and the Knight of and the Knight of Cups, does points to a, a very systematic and meticulous performance moving on forward because both cards does not leave anything to happen by a chance but they uh, um, urges you and they will make you to put the toils behind it that being said you will be able to attend to every single minor detail regarding your work and of that matter regarding your relationship and last but not least we do have the final outcome here that is the seven of cups uh, the seven of pentacles excuse me with the death card wow so okay <clears throat> So this is a uh, this time the the scales are shifting. You will have the offer, all right? But that offer will not exactly satisfy your needs in the sense that you you would have expe expected more from that person. And as a matter of fact, you can have more. Uh, it all comes to patience, all right? So you need to make your demands when the offer comes. And if the person isn't agreed on those demands that you do have or the criteria that you do have, you should not feel obliged to be succumbed by their end of the bargain, all right? So you need to keep and hold on to your end of the bargain. The Seven of Pentacles is a card pointing that nothing is decided yet. That's why one should not uh, stray uh, forward to close the deal as a, a very important matter circumstances or an information is just behind the corner and it is waiting to happen and when happens there will be a huge shift of the balance scale so this the, right now we do have the person who is judging you then you will be the one who judge the person or rather like you will be the one who calls the shots here because probably you will have what they need all right and uh, they will be let's say let's say desperate to get you on their board and it is where you can actually uh, ask for your crit criteria to be fulfilled and your demands to be accomplished so that being said Libras this was your monthly tarot reading for June 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you are interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of the video Rod signing out now see you next time bye